going on here, everybody? Um, we're going to be removing the MCP 200 from this truck today. Uh, I looked online for a video uh, in reference to that exact process. Uh, for anybody that might need to remove one for themselves one day, uh, here's the information. So let's get started on this. Get this thing out of here. Uh, let me clear all this out and we'll be back. Beat it with a stick. No. Alright, so no, I'm not gonna use a stick to get it out, but this is if you can see it good. Omnitrax. That's the brain for the Qualcomm. So we're gonna pull this, we're gonna hook all the wires, pull that box out, that one part gun, and then the way I'm gonna figure this out. Is I'm just gonna remove one wire at a time and figure out how they routed it and where it goes to and we'll go from there. Don't lose your, your drill bits. Don't lose them there bits. Helps to have drill. A little bit of overkill. Way long, way long. But it looks like uh, you got it out. You got those four. Not too long, but I'm gonna keep them anyway. It never hurts to have screws just in case you run into something you need a screw for. Anyway, brains out. All right, so we got that part done. Um, Here's all the cables. As you can see, if you look at it, they all run into there. So, and then we have some. Uh, running here. Well, that's oily. <laughs> um, and we have all the other cables. I'm gonna to have to remove this plate right here. Uh, looks like they cracked my side piece here when they did this. But uh, we'll come back to this because right now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna remove the satellite uh, unit, which normally would be mounted up there. But when Schneider installed the equipment, they put it inside the truck. So let's go in and get that out. All right, right now I got the power disconnected in the truck um, just to save the batteries. Uh, so we're going to use a little flashlight action back here. Oh. But the satellite unit, I'm going to have to climb up behind the bunk, get it out of the hole they put it in. Oh. Oh, you have to excuse the mess. I haven't put anything up yet. But this is where they stuck the satellite 
GPS antenna thingamabob as you can see it's designed to be mounted in the back on the back of the truck outside um, I guess it's the lazy man's way of doing it so there's that unit probably don't get very good reception either I don't I don't know be nice but, if you can mount it back on the outside where it belongs this piece push up a little bit and they have the cord running down so we're gonna drop that down climb back down oh. take this take that there see what they got routed here yeah. looks like they just got it routed following this duck work was the cord that went to the satellite unit routed around the bump so I'm roll this up just out of the way and zip tie it but that's probably the easiest Uh, T40 Torx bit to remove the screws in here. Taking out that side plate, a little more of a pain in the caboose than I want. <laughs> Took off the sill plate <clears throat> because it looks like they've routed them right through here. So all I'm trying to do is get it to where I can snake back whatever they brought through, which is going to be the easier route to go. So just uh, just a matter of doing it. Hang on, keep going. wires spliced so I'm guessing that's how they drove it through to get it into the dash uh, and then they spliced everything together once they got it through because there's no way you're getting these connectors without tearing the whole side of the truck off so what we're gonna do now 
And this is, is uh, a power feed wire, obviously, um, which probably is what powers the brain. So we're going to do a handy dandy snip job. Get rid of that wire. And then, just for good measure, come back here. Dig through this unbelievably ridiculous bag I have right here. We're just going to wrap the end of it with electrical tape. So just in case, don't want it accidentally parking off anything. Blowing fuses. So, got that wrapped up. And now what we're going to do... This looks like just a small connector, wherever the end of the tape happens to be. Let's do it the cheap, easy way. Ow. Maybe. It's been a while since I've changed this blade. Down here, since this is obviously everything is a splice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right where their splices are so they can re-splice whatever vehicle they need to put it in next. That's a connector there. Put that. And then right here, right on the other side of this connector. And then we should be able to pull this one out. We can figure out which one it is. There's three of them back here. This we'll know when we move it. Nope, that ain't it. This one goes over the dash. Yep, that's it. Alright, so we got that one. And then this one's disconnected. Hopefully I can pull it through. Something. All right. Bingo. So now we got two more cords out, and then this last one is going to be the one that runs up and into the dash uh, for Qualcomm. So we're going to pull that. We're going to pull this cover off, and because uh, that's where it seems to go underneath. We're going to pull this cover off, see how they routed it, and uh, we'll come back when we figure that out. Alright, um, so we took the front cover off in front of the stick uh, to get to the cord that goes to the actual uh, keyboard part. Uh, so now we're going to try to figure out, there's got to be a connector that takes this apart from that main cord, so we can pull this one through. Uh, we'll figure that out back in a minute. This is not as fun a job as I thought it was going to be. Uh, <laughs> so right now this is obviously keyboard unit on the back here. Got this little cover. Um, that's just for this do to dad which you gotta unplug and then I'm gonna stick the cover back on uh, just because I'm a nice guy and on a freight liner I don't know about any other truck but the all the bolts in the dash and a sill. Those are all T20s, uh, which I have a T20. Yeah, T20. Uh, all right, so that's that unit. We got it unplugged there. This cord, because of the way it's made, um, I believe what I'm gonna have to do, 
I don't think this thing unplugs from here. It doesn't look like it anyway. Excuse the mess under there. I have not cleaned under there. Yeah, that cover's never been off since we've owned the truck, so that's got to be clean before we put it back together. Yeah, so just excuse that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to figure out how to get this cord out of here. Uh, it's going to have to come the opposite of the other ones. The other ones I pulled to the uh, side box, this one's going to have to come up. As you can see, I had to remove the front face of the dash because I had it zip tied and wrapped over and around the, the dash in that area. So uh, we're going to get to that point and uh, we'll be back in a second, but that's where we're at. You know, doing this myself sounded like a really, really good idea when it was in my head. Not so much anymore. <laughs> but anyway, any hoodle. Uh, I pulled this cord from the back to the front, which is what I knew I was going to have to do. It seemed there's a big tunnel that goes down the side of the truck to the side box because it was real easy to get this out of there. Uh, but this is obviously this wire. It's got this yellow power wire that went to the unit. So what we got to do now is get this big cord out from underneath this sill right here. Which I'm thinking, if I just loosen the screws enough, come on. That's a lot. Man, that thing's in there pretty good. And when I bought the truck, it had a people net cord in the truck, which obviously you can't use with an MCP 200. And Schneider just uh, stuck it back behind the dash, which is fine. Guys, you know, you might need it for future use, who knows. But other than that, other than taking this piece off the dash, which is pretty self-explanatory, all the major components are now out and uh, we'll do one last part of this video showing all the components together it's got to go back to Schneider but yes you can do it yourself you don't have to have a shop do it uh, now on the install uh, then that's gonna be done by a professional uh, taking things apart is always easy putting things back together a little different a little different and rather than waste three hours of four hours of my day figuring it out uh somebody that does it all the time can put the next one back in so hang on we'll show you all the components in just a minute uh and we're done all right people so i thought i'd do a recap that's everything everything involved with the call con the mcp 200 there's the user interface satellite GPS uh, diagnostic wiring this wire goes to the satellite GPS that one goes to the interface that's the brains behind the operation and that's all the cords pertaining to the rest of that um, but what I can tell you is change is coming change is coming Stay tuned for the next video. Y'all see what I'm saying. As always, I appreciate you guys taking time. Be safe, and we'll talk to you.